Here comes the red machine, the Lucas Oil entry of Canada's Robert Wickens. Oh, that's going to be tight through there. Whoa. Hey, touch. Oh, my God. Oh, that's Robert Wickens. And his teammate is into him as well, James Hinchcliffe. That was ugly. That was frightening. Big, big impact. So let's have a look here at, on the inside here, there's Hunter Ray breaking sideways, and look at that, Wickens just climbs over the 28 and up into the fence. It was a, it was a vicious impact. That is the fastest part of the racetrack. You know, you're wide open, two cars contact, and the angle at which they darted off into the wall and the fence was, was severe. Two car lengths in it between Power and Dixon. This championship is going to go all the way to the final. Whoa, that's Whoa. a huge crash. EJ Viso, was it Marco oh, Andretti? Oh, There's oh, four oh, or five oh, cars involved in that. Turn 10 for the final time. It's a Penske day. It's a Will Power day here, in Houston. And there's the marbles on the outside there. Sato oh, gets he got loose. loose. Oh. oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That is a horrifying ride for Dario Franchitti. Oh, man. That is an oval crash we've seen before, and we hate to see that kind of impact. Just Sato, uh, wow. Oh, boy. Well, Look you at what. the debris go through. Oh, boy. And, and oh, fencing. Yeah, it does look like there might be some some debris into the grandstands as well. There's your leader, Thomas Schechter, followed by Sam Horn as part of the Penske team. Dan Weldon, the current points leader. Tony Kanaan sits in fourth. And Dario Franchitti, we've got a big yellow coming into turn four. All kinds of debris, and it's the 33, the back end. That is Ryan Briscoe. Well, here it is again. Here's how they come into three, Scotty. As you can see on the very underside, what a ride that was. Remember we had last oh year with Buddy Rice getting airborne coming out of turn two when they touched wheels. And here's the situation. Briscoe going underneath. Oh Barron trying to word. come down on the racetrack. They both are going for the same piece of real estate. He's doing everything he can to save you. And Weldon, can he close? It's 3.6 seconds as they head through one. Oh, we've got a crash. Oh, a wicked crash involving two cars at least. He's won it. He's going to win it. Frankiti has won it. Ryan Hunter Ray involved in this. All right, let's go back and show you what happened here. And that car is certainly destroyed, but you can see Mike moving inside the car. He's going on the inside of Ryan Hunter Ray. This reminds me almost of Dan Weldon's crash here in turn three and four quite a few years ago. And the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent of Kenny Brack's accident at Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. You know, he was incredibly lucky that he did not go head into that fence. That is an, a horrible impact. Wow. To make this all happen, he's got to be thinking inside his cockpit right now. Oh, big crash! Major, major incident. Kenny Breck getting way high up into the fence. Here is the replay of what happened. Breck on the high side of Thomas Schechter down the backstretch. At the end of the backstretch, there's the contact and Breck's car up into the wall, virtually splitting in half. And here is the shot now from the end of the backstretch. It's a, it's a crash very reminiscent of Davey Hamilton's accident here a few years ago in which he sustained very severe leg damage. The catch fence keeping the car contained inside the racetrack. Here we come down with A.J. Ford beginning to move through traffic, and he's running in behind uh, Tom Steva. Eldon Rasmussen, number 58, is in the yellow car, coming around turn number two. And, oh, we've got an axe! Steva is on the wall. He goes into a terrible flip, and we have a fire. The engine is ripped from the back of the car and comes tumbling across. Now, you see Steva in the blue car low down, and he actually goes into what I would call a classic open wheel racing car action. It climbs over the front wheel of the yellow car, of Rathmussen's car. This is the type of accident that can occur. It seems Elder to me Rasmussen. that Tom Sneva was in the inside line. Rathmussen stayed parallel with him, but look at that car. 
slam against the wall, burst into flame, the car disintegrating as it goes through, the suites there, the people very close to the accident, the wheels are coming off, the engine is ripped off completely. What an accident. Trouble, oh my goodness, what a huge crash. Scott Dixon is in it. As we watch the cars go through here, guys, the car on the very top, okay, which is Jay Howard. We're going to roll this through now. Well, look at Jay. He's already way off the line. He's off the dark patch of the racetrack, which we call the racing line. He's up in the gray. He's lost control of the car. He's hoping he's not going to hit the wall. He impacts the wall, comes off the wall, just misses the 10 of Tony Kanon. Unfortunately, Scott Dixon is right there up and over the front of the car. Mm. Car hits on the top of the wall. The safety cell on these cars, guys, I can't tell you how strong they are. Yeah, he got out of the pits, uh, was pretty far back, and just really has kind of run where he came out. He hasn't been able to pass anybody, hasn't really been... Oh, and we have a big-time crash on the back stretch. Looks like that uh, it is Davy Hamilton involved, along with Sarah Fisher. Yeah, Davy Hamilton, the yellow and red car that... Uh, appeared to have a lot of damage. Sarah Fisher's down to the inside. We see Davey Hamilton moving around in the cockpit. As a matter of fact, he's thrown out the steering wheel, so that is the best thing that we can see. Here is the crash. Well, they're taking a... Oh, contact oh. was made between Schrader and uh, Sarah Fisher back there. She just kind of ran over some stuff, but Schrader and Hamilton, when they got together, let's see what happens as they... Oh, oh Schrader, an engine blue. engine. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Everybody was a victim of circumstances right there. It wasn't anybody's fault. It's when you start to go a little bit high that things might get a little bit loose for you. That's what happened to Will Power when I saw that two years ago in turn number two. Ideally, I think you'd like to be low in particular going into... Oh, we have a huge crash here on the track right now. It looks like Mikhail Aloshin. I'll have to look involved. up who it is. I saw Aloshin earlier was running very close with Charlie Kimball and, and as Charlie well Scott. Sebastian Saavedra, but don't want to identify just yet who it is as we have yet to identify. Looks like Marco Andretti may have been involved. Looked like Mikhail Aloshin and Sebastian Bourdais, I understand, also involved. Yep. Um, but the good news is, at least first and foremost, Charlie Kimball, we can see getting out of the car and getting out of the car under his own power fairly easily. We will have to see and hope for the best now for Sebastian Bourdais. We are told Mikhail Aloshin and as well, Jack Hawksworth involved in this incident. Walter, but watch, there's a car going, starting to the right, right there, and look at this, an incredible explosion, fuel spraying out over the spectators in the first few rows, that could mean real trouble, and an ex explosion, and like a pinwheel or a garden sprinkler, all the fuel is being sprayed out of the car, that could be a good thing for the driver if he has survived this crash. Car upside down, coming to a rest.